right, and you dominated the second. I mean, that was very impressive win for you because I thought for sure Jamal was going to have you, but you turned it all the way around on him, and you pummeled him in that second. I mean, it, second round, yeah, No, no, go ahead, Glenmer. <laughs> yeah, in the second round, I, you know, I do what I, I don't say that's what I do the best. I just, uh, just eat it for me, just take him down. And he looked like he was getting too nervous and he'd get for guillotine, but he didn't really have it. He allowed himself to be in the bottom of the back position and that he was actually doing better to get out of the position, but he didn't even try hard enough to. Yeah, well, what it looks like to me is that he ran out of gas because he gave everything to knock you out in that first round. You, being who you are, usually is very well trained as far as cardiovascular. I have never seen you tired. I've seen you worn out from sustaining hits, but I've never seen you tired. And when you step into each round, it seems like you're refreshed, ready to go, and you bring it. Jamal looked like you got him good. He wasn't ready to handle it, and he pretty much just didn't have the endurance to keep up with your barrage of pounding. Yeah, I mean, I have over 20 fights in my career, and some of them went for a distance, and I know you better say something for the last, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, you may turn around. I fought like three times over 500 rounds, and it's – it's a bitch, you know. You go there and you better have some gas to do it. So I didn't prepare for it. That's and the Jamal trying to put me, give everything he got to my guillotine. And then when you squeeze your upper body so hard you can't breathe, then you let it go. And then then what? <laughs> you can yeah. That's definitely. I think it was an advantage as far as the experience. Now, is there any talk about you possibly with your championship crossing over and doing some of these pay-per-views that we keep hearing about all over the place? Roy has been mentioned possibly as a Kimball Slice next opponent. Uh, we talked to him about it, and we hope that it comes through. But uh, is there a way for you to cross over and join some of these major, you know, these other leagues and dominate them as well? I would, uh, I would love to. I would love to either way. I still have my contract with NFL for the rest of the year, and I uh, if they would decide to do it, I would love to represent IFL as well and, uh, you know, fight other organizations. And, uh, you know, it's it definitely MMA world going to the really interesting edge where people can see uh, real good fights right now, good matchups. On our website, you're one of the most visible guys. We receive more questions all over the globe about you. When's your next fight?